Well, Jake, back at uh, Development Camp this year, um, must be nice for you to be back uh, one more year at Development Camp after what happened last year. Can you maybe just take us through a little bit about your season and the challenges that, that you went through? Yeah, I mean, that's no way uh, you want to start a year. It's tough, and a lot of guys go through it, but you don't really understand how tough it is until it happens to yourself. Um, it, was a good, uh, it was a good experience for me, though, to learn about my body and then learn what it takes to be a pro hockey player. Uh, there was lots of support around me here in Edmonton, which made the process a lot easier. But like you said, it's good to be back here, a uh, little redemption. And uh, I've been looking forward to this camp for a while now, so it's nice to be back, see some familiar faces, and get going. What was the, if you could maybe take us a little bit through what, what happened last year, if you, if you could fill us in there. Yeah, I, uh, it was day two of camp, and I kind of got tangled up in the practice, went down, uh, hurt my shoulder, that uh, came to the conclusion that it, it's good, it was needed to be operated on. So I um, went and got a successful surgery in Winnipeg, and um, from there it was just kind of rehab time and, and getting back on ice. Um, a lot of it is physical, but, you know, there's the mental side of it too, what were kind of the the emotions that you went through over, over the course of the season? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you're sitting at home doing your stretches and rehab, and um, you're watching the team that you want to play for so bad uh, going to battle every night. So uh, that wasn't easy at all, but um, I did as best as I could to, to stay in touch with uh, the guys in Brandon there and um, pretty much just give any help I could to some of the young guys coming in. I hadn't met a lot of them from camp yet, so um, did whatever I could to be a part of the team from far away, and once I got back, it was time to, to get going and try to step in the lineup as quick as I could. You talked a lot last year too about you know your support system helping you through the draft and the COVID year. How did those guys kind of that support system help you throughout the year getting through your injury? Yeah, it was great. At at no point did I feel like I was alone through the process. Um, it was pretty special. A lot of the guys I had. Uh, been in Brandon since I was 14, 15 years, years old with. So we have a pretty uh, close relationship uh, with a lot of the guys there, and uh, as well as the medical and coaching staff. They were regularly checking in, um, making sure my head was in the right space, my body was feeling good, and um, that definitely made the time go quicker. It was uh, a lot easier having them uh, in my back pocket for any help and just to reach out and talk about hockey. And then you finally do get back on the ice, maybe talk about that, that 20 games you had at the end of the regular season. And pushing into the playoffs, how, how great it was to get back on the ice and how you think you, you performed there. Yeah, it's, it's tough stepping back into the lineup um, after you miss 48 games. It's, that's kind of the ramp up uh, area of the season to get ready for playoffs. So you come in, games are fast, they're physical. Um, and like I said, it was, it was tough to step in, but each game I got more comfortable with myself, got more comfortable with my injury and realized that I, I was in good shape and I was ready to go. And, um, yeah, we had a good playoff uh, experience there, and no guy on our team had a playoff game played. So uh, to have that kind of experience under our belt is going to help us moving forward and moving into next season. Then what are you looking forward to this week? Obviously, you know, getting to know some new faces, new coaches. Um, just what are you taking in the most this week? Yeah, you know, just like you said, there's a lot of new, uh, new coaches, new faces, and it's getting to know a lot of those guys. These are guys that can be your teammates in the next coming years, and um, everything this week is just about learning. Uh, there's, there's so much to take out of this camp, so many different perspectives of coaching. So uh, if I can come out of this camp knowing more than what I came in, that's a success for me and uh, getting a little more comfortable to be back here at the end of summer and, and make a good push in camp. Um, having only played 40, 50 games over the last uh, two seasons, how important is this upcoming year for your personal development? Yeah, it's crucial. I mean, it's something I'm really looking forward to. There's uh, there's been ups and downs through my career um, to date so far, and, and this is just another one that I'm, I'm taking head on. Uh, it's, I'm excited to get back. We're going to have a good group. Uh, being an older guy in the league now, it's, it's going to be a good opportunity for me to be a leader on our team and, and to kind of show the ropes to the guys coming in. And uh, this is, like you said, this was a big year for me, and I'm excited, to, I'm excited to get going. Is there anything that you're prioritizing in your development, whether it's in your game or whether it's on ice, off ice, or anything like that? Yeah, I think um, every guy wants to get bigger and stronger, and, and that's a key piece for me as well. Uh, going through that injury, you realize maybe putting on a little more muscle is important at this point in your career, and um, that's something I've really been focusing on this summer. I put on some weight since last time I was here, and uh, that's going to translate well for me on the ice too. Uh, that's an important part of a game is, is kind of holding your own out there and playing physical, and that's something I want to incorporate in my game this season. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, Jake. Yeah.